Have you ever been thinking about how to integrate sustainability into your business values? Stay tuned to find out how Google Cloud can help. Hi, I'm Ella. And I'm Valeria, and we're both customer engineers here at Google Cloud. Welcome back to the Technical Guides for Startups, a video series where we help startups to start, build, and grow their business successfully and sustainably on Google Cloud. In the previous video, we looked into the Looker product family and showed you how to explore, analyze, and share business insights. Today, at our Start at Zero guide, we will cover how you can optimize your business and sustainability by starting with net zero technology admission or starting your move towards net zero. We are going to cover why sustainability matters and why it is an important consideration for your business. We will share Google's sustainability strategy operating as the cleanest cloud in the industry. We'll cover how Google Cloud supports you on a sustainability journey through two key pillars, digital sustainability and operational sustainability. And we'll show you what this looks like in the Google Cloud console. And we'll also take a look at an example of one of our customers who is partnering with Google Cloud to start at zero. All right, let's start with a key question to answer. Why sustainability matters? Sustainability has three main pillars, economic, environmental, and social. To achieve sustainability, we need to balance all those factors with equal harmony. In business, sustainability is about doing business without negatively impacting the environment, community, or society as a whole. Out of many, there are two key reasons startups should think about sustainability topic. The first, and often more compelling for business, is that there is a consumer demand and therefore investor demand. Both consumers and investors are making purchase and investment preferences based on environmental impact. Retail and institutional investors are building sustainability metrics into their risk modeling and prefer investing in brands that have sustainability commitments. And the second reason is we are living in a pivotal decade in the fight against climate change which gives startups and new businesses an opportunity to take responsibility and chart a sustainable course for our planet in response to climate change. The trend is clear. There is more need for computational power than ever, particularly with an emerge and growth of Web3, Internet of Things, data, and millions of users starting their journey with the cloud every month. More demand ultimately means more servers and therefore more energy. Data centers in particular have proven to be an area where innovation can have a major impact. For example, in our own data centers in 2020, we had seven times the compute for the same amount of electricity we once used in 2015. And for this reason, we continue to have sustainability as part of our core mission. At Google, we strive to build sustainability into everything we do. For everyone, every Googler, every user, every product, every partner, and every community. From product design to manufacturing and supply chain operations, Google is working to deliver the tools and technologies that provide the data and insights for more sustainable decision making. So together, we can address environmental and social impact at every step of the journey. As of the beginning of 2023, Google is operating the cleanest cloud in the world. This is an example of Google's goal that we're passing on to businesses that choose to build with Google. Efficient data centers help us better serve our users in a more sustainable way. Google data centers are twice as efficient as the industry average for enterprise data centers. We also optimize our data center's cooling system with our own machine learning technology. When it comes to controlling data centers, there are unique beasts millions of components that are relatively fickle to change in their environment. Every five minutes, our AI system grabs a snapshot of thousands of sensors. It feeds the inputs to neural networks, which predict potential outcomes of different actions and best adjustment. This focus on energy efficiency cascades into the services that you can get from Google Cloud and therefore offer to your end customers. Google was the first major company to become carbon neutral in 2007. Then, in 2017, Google became the first major company to achieve 100% renewable energy, which means that compute, 
data and machine learning for clothes, which powers your business on Google Cloud, have zero net emissions. But we don't want to stop there. Our moonshot is to power all of the operations 24-7, 365 on renewable energy and the same grid as the energy is consumed. Our next goal is to operate carbon-free 24-7 by 2030. And by doing this, we enable businesses by default on Google Cloud to hold their green technology page. Learn more about Google's commitment to sustainability at sustainability.google. In line with our sustainability strategy, Google Cloud seeks to support you on your own sustainability journey. How do we do that? Well, we think about sustainability in two domains. Firstly, we help your business to adopt technology that reduces the immediate impact of your IT operations and lowers the associated emissions. The work we've done on our own data centres effectively reduces the emissions of your IT infrastructure. We call this digital sustainability. And then secondly, we help organisations to use our extensive data sets, the data processing capabilities of Google Cloud and our ecosystem of partners to help reimagine your operations and processes to reduce your own carbon emissions. We call this operational sustainability. So how do you view and track your digital sustainability on Google Cloud? Well, there are three key ways you can do this. The first is with Google Cloud Carbon Footprint, which can be accessed directly from your Google Cloud console and provides you with an overview of the gross emissions of your cloud infrastructure. You can measure and visualize these emissions per project, location, or Google Cloud product and easily export this data to BigQuery for your business's carbon accounting. It's available to all Google Cloud users for free. From Cloud Carbon Footprint, you can launch into recommendations, which will take you to our Active Assist sustainability recommendations. Active Assist uses advanced analytics and machine learning to identify idle projects and evaluates their impact on carbon footprint then produces recommendations to help you reduce your IT carbon footprint. And lastly, whenever you are spinning up a new resource, whether it's Compute Engine, BigQuery or Cloud Run, our region picker helps you to optimize for price, latency and carbon footprint when choosing where to run your new workload. Let's talk about operational sustainability. We have and continue to build Google Cloud solutions to help our customers across all industries to make informed decisions and promote healthier outcomes for the planet. Meet Google Earth Engine. Over the past decade, academics, scientists and NGOs have used Google Earth Engine and its Earth observation data to make meaningful progress on climate research, natural resources protection, carbon emissions reduction and other sustainability goals. Now, with the power of Google Cloud and intelligence of Google Earth Engine, we are helping companies with the responsible management of natural resources, while building sustainable business practices that cut costs and comply with regulations. Earth Engine combines a 70 plus petabytes catalog of satellite imagery and geospatial datasets with planetary scale analysis capabilities. And of course, a trusted community with 50,000 sustainability focused monthly active users. Great opportunity to join the community focused on sustainability, social and environmental impact. Today, Google Earth Engine serves users from science to operational business decision making. For 30 years, we have been collecting petabytes of Earth science data to process using algorithms. The Earth Engine API is available in Python and JavaScript, making it easy to harness the power of Google's cloud for your own geospatial analysis. And it remains at no cost for non-profit, non-commercial and research projects. As two examples, Global Forest Watch and US Forest Service. Global Forest Watch offers the latest data, technology and tools that empowers people everywhere to better protect forests. USFS reduces time to compete mission critical tasks from months to hours with Google Earth Engine's superior data catalog and scalability. With Google Cloud's comprehensive platform, industries can solve for common environmental and climate risks at scale. It starts with leveraging Google's 
geospital data and applying Google's advanced AI and ML capabilities to identify the impact of sustainable business practices on their top and bottom line and on the planet. And if you wanted to see a real-life example of Earth's engine power in action, let's take a look at Unilever, a global consumer goods company. Unilever wanted to know what percentage of their raw materials are sourced from deforestation-free suppliers and how they can improve that number. Until recently, many brands have found it hard to get real-time reliable visibility into operations at a local supplier level globally. Unilever and Google Cloud teamed up to help advance sustainable business practices. Using cloud computing, satellite imagery, and AI to build a more holistic view of the forests, water cycles, and biodiversity that intersect Unilever's supply chain. If you've gotten to the end of this video and you still want to learn more about sustainability with Google Cloud, here are a few steps you can take. Firstly, visit sustainability.google and google.cloud.com forward slash sustainability. Check out our hands-on guides and walkthroughs in the description below. Look into our accelerator program, Climate Change Europe. And lastly, reach out and get connected with someone from Google Cloud. Next up, we'll be looking into how you can scale your databases globally with Google Cloud Spanner. The session will cover some common challenges with traditional databases and how Google Cloud Spanner overcomes those challenges. We'll look at when you should consider scaling your databases, as well as migration and pricing options. And we'll demonstrate how to get started with Google Cloud Spanner. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to get notified each time a new video is posted. Thank you. Stay tuned and we will see you very soon in the next video.